phase three for clinical trials for Russia Sputnik five so vaccine is expected to start next month. But the health department said the vaccine's important data from earlier trials are still pending review. Greg Gregorio tells us more. It is still uncertain when the IED Phase three clinical trials for Russia's Sputnik V vaccine finally begin in the Philippines. President Duterte earlier announced it would start by October. However, Health Undersecretary Maria Rosario Verjera says data on the vaccine candidates' earlier trials are still pending review. Pinag-aaralan pa rin ng ating vaccine experts panel itong phase 1 and phase 2 trials na nangyari sa, para dito sa Sputnik 5 at magbibigay sila ng impormasyon sa atin kung ito ay magiging acceptable at saka kung ito ay magiging uh, uh, feasible no? na pag-usapan na magkaroon din ng clinical trial dito sa ating bansa for the Sputnik 5 vaccine. Health experts earlier emphasized that it would take some time before a clinical trial, phase 3, of a certain vaccine be allowed in the country. Among the regulatory procedures is an approval from the Food and Drug Administration. FDA Director General Eric Domingo says to date, no group has applied for any approval of any clinical trial, phase 3. Verhera meanwhile clarified that the reported clinical trials slated for two vaccines in the province of Cavite have no approval from authorities yet. Walang pwedeng mag-umpisa ng any clinical trial kung wala kayong approval ng FDA at wala kayong approval ng ethics review. If you do that, you are violating specific laws. So you will be sanctioned and, and you will be asked to stop. As for Japanese drug Avigan, DOH said clinical trials have been pushed back anew. Verjera says protocols to be used in Jose and Rodriguez Memorial Hospital Santa Ana Hospital and Karim Memorial Medical Center are still pending review. So ang inaantay ho natin yung tatlong ospital para makapag-final na po approval for, for the ethics review. Uh, ito pong isa pa ay yung ating clinical trial agreement. Kailangan lang huma-finalize. The health department meanwhile reports an improvement in the country's case of Dublin time, mortality Dublin time, and rate of transmission as of August 31. Case doubling time is at around 10 days, while mortality doubling time is at around 15 days. This means it takes more than a week or two before the numbers go even higher. The current rate of transmission stands at 0.977%, which means a COVID-positive individual can only infect one other person at most. Verhera notes that while these reflect the aggressive efforts in containing the COVID-19 spread in communities, the public should remain cautious. As of today, the Philippines has recorded over 226,000 cases of COVID-19, in which 64,000 are active. More than 3,000 died from COVID-19, while 158,000 have recovered. For News 5, Greg Gregorio, we are One News.